Hey everyone, it's Darla. Welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to be showing you two different ways to achieve neon sign nail art. I'm going to talk you through my cherry design and then I'm going to show you how I achieved the heart design. For both, I use the super fine tip elongated dotting tool from the creativity set. My base is two coats of Raven's Kiss and then to finish off the look, I did one coat of Matter Effect. So for the cherry design, I didn't mix or shear out any of the colors. For the red, you can see on the bottom, that is the base color for the cherry and it is the widest placed polish. That is going to give it the kind of glow and buzz that a neon sign would have. So I did my initial shape with strawberry daiquiri and I cured it. And then on top, you can see it just a little bit finer is some orange. So that's lady in a dress. I wanted a bright orange and that's the brightest we have. And then I cured that. And then to give it some extra glow, I added little dashes of lovey dovey, which is the white and then cured that. So those colors were used for my cherry. And then for my stem, I lined it with sublime and then gave that a cure. I added some pops of white to highlight the stem and the leaves. And then to finish it, I wanted to give it a little extra pop. So I tried adding chandelier, but being that I'm layering up polishes, it does have a 3D texture and the sparkles kind of started to slide off of the parts where I specifically wanted it. So I went to, when I went to cure it, it got a little bit more messy than I was planning. So if I was to do this technique again, I would probably just leave the sparkle off and let the white do the pops that I was going for. But that is all I did. I just very thinly layered up polishes working from thick to thin on top and highlighting it with white. And then to finish off the look, one coat of matter effect. So that takes us to the difference on how I did this nail. So with this nail, I'm going to show you how I did it, but just quickly, I did a base of white first, then I actually mixed knockout and clearly frisky, and I went over that white, and that is what gives it that neon glow, halo, kind of a buzz look that a neon sign would have. And then I added the pops of white on top of the design to really finish it and make it pop. And then again, coated it with one coat of Clearly Frisky. But stick with me, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to get this very cool neon sign design. And I wanted to show you both, just in case you didn't have Clearly Frisky on hand, because I did sheer down knockout to make it um, very, very almost clear, but neon at the same time. But this is such an easy way to get that similar look if you don't have Clearly Frisky on hand. So grab your goodies and let's get started. Picking up some lovey-dovey with our dotting tool, we're creating our heart shape. It doesn't have to be overly perfect because we will be going over top of this base coat with two more coats of color. Focus on having enough width to your design. Our third step is highlighting the entire shape again with more white. So the more width you have to start with, the easier it is to do the highlighting. Once you're happy with your shape, give it a full 45 second cure. Now taking my knockout and clearly frisky mixture, which was about two parts clearly frisky to one part knockout, I'm filling in all of the white base and then I'm also slightly extending it past the white line. So you can color outside the lines here, giving it that halo of color that a neon sign would have and then giving it a full 45 second cure. To give it that pop that a neon sign would have, I'm using Lovey Dovey now to highlight the whole design. Using a very small amount of product, I'm placing it kind of in the middle of my design, allowing the colors beneath to be seen and to have a glow, then giving it a full 45 second cure. The design looks super cute shiny, but I wanted to give it more of an edge, so I added one coat of Matter Effect. When you're using Matter Effect, just give your nail a look over. Make sure that the entire nail is shiny and wet, so when you cure it, the whole nail comes out matte. And there you have it. There is our final mattified neon nail design. Both application techniques are going to give you this super cool 3D neon sign look, all depending on the products that you have on hand. And as always, the color combinations are endless, as are the designs. Flamingos and palm trees would be super cute. I hope you guys had fun and we'll see you soon.